Describe the emotions, kind of what you're going through. Yeah, um, it's just heartbreaking, you know. Um, I kind of knew where I st like stood um, on 17, and I was just thinking, you know, par out. I just didn't have the right club in and kind of left myself with a difficult um, up and down. Um, I was trying to be aggressive and just kind of lost it. But I thought I could get it back on 18, but I had a lot going on in my head um, with where I was at. I, I know it's difficult now to kind of think forward, but I mean, do, you, do you think feeling this kind of nerves will help you the next time you're in this situation? Yeah, I mean, I wasn't really nervous today. Um, I kind of felt comfortable out there. Just, you know, first tee shot, I was a little nervous, but I think 18, I was feeling it a bit because I just kind of made a dumb mistake on 17. But other than that, I was really comfortable out there. I was really confident, and I thought, you know, I played pretty well out there. You said that you kind of knew where you were at on 17, figuring you would par out. Is it typical for you to sort of pay attention to sort of where you're at and well, to everyone else, or is it just, just this is obviously a little bit different than what you would normally? Yeah, I know it's kind of hard to not know where you're at when there's a bunch of uh, leaderboards out there. So when you take a little glance, you kind of see where you are. And I was coming in three under, and it's just it's kind of heartbreaking to go double and then bogey in the last two holes. How would you describe the support from the crowd today? I'm really overwhelmed. Like I wasn't expecting that, and that kind of really brought me to tears. Um, I just, I've never experienced quite a large crowd like that, and have them support me, which was, I'm gonna cherish that forever. Like I'm gonna remember walking down there and hearing my name and go Tigers and all their support. It was really it made me feel a lot better. What'd you learn about Augusta National today? Um. Don't place it on the wrong side <laughs> to make up and down, I guess. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, I had fun out there with my caddy rowdy, so I had a blast. Uh, I came in late. Sorry. Um, which, which shot did you want to have over? The one on 17 for sure. I mean, I hit it in the fairway, and I had 130 in, just <laughs> took pitching wedge just at a 9-iron on an uphill lie. Were you thinking about that before the chip then? I mean, obviously, that you, you got overcooked a little bit. Yeah. You were just frustrated when you were up there? Well, I was just trying to – I just knew I just didn't want to land it in the bunker, and I wanted to at least hit it over and have that shot. Um, but I just think about maybe to hit the putt a little better and just try to two-putt and go on with it. But just eliminating the high, like the high numbers, is what's most important with playing this golf course for sure. What's your go-to move for getting over golf disappointments? Um, I don't know. Usually, my friends help me a lot with that. They just they distract me with, you know, when I'm having a bad time. So probably lean on them a little bit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you.